Sometimes interactions involve people with challenges that are not visible. A driver was pulled over for reasonable suspicion of drug activity after his vehicle was seen leaving a known drug house. The following is what ensued. The driver was ordered to exit the vehicle, but indicated he was unable to comply due to a physical disability. There was also a young child in the back seat. Police body cam video, which shows that after repeated commands to exit the vehicle, the driver indicated he could not. The driver asked to speak to a supervisor, but officers disregarded his request. The driver called friends and encouraged them to come to the scene to videotape or take pictures. After a brief period of time, the officers proceeded to handcuff him and drag him by his hair to the squad car. We join officers Bob and Tim at the station prior to their shift. They are discussing this incident, which happened in another state. Did you see that cop story on TV this morning? What did you think of that shit? I'm sure IA will be looking at this. I'm glad it's not me. I hate these body cams. On the other hand, what the hell were they thinking? What are you talking about? He didn't follow commands. How were they supposed to know he really couldn't move? People say they won't get out of the car all the time. Because, the mobility driving device for disabled was in plain view on the recording. Doesn't mean he needed it. Bullshit. So, what you're telling me is that you think that everything they did was okay. The guy still didn't get out of the car. He told them why and he asked for a supervisor. Hell, there was a three-year-old in the car that saw something that could make him scared of cops forever. The guy was yapping on his phone, calling people, threatening about making complaints, in front of that kid. I don't think that kid is learning any respect for cops. I would have called for backup, got the supervisor to come out from the get-go when the guy started talking shit. If people would just do what we tell them. Problem solved. We are all influenced by our emotions and beliefs, everyone wants to feel in control. What each person does to gain control can improve or escalate an interaction. Once the amygdala is triggered, the urge to control a situation takes over. Being mindful of the community's beliefs and perceptions may help. When presented with an escalating interaction, before reacting, take a deep breath and let it out slowly. This will provide more oxygen to the brain and may help produce positive outcomes. Do you know these facts about invisible disabilities? 38% of U.S. adults have a diagnosable substance use disorder. 33% of U.S. adults hold a criminal record. 26% of adults 18 and older suffer from a mental health disorder. 20% have learning and attention issues. 16% have a physical disability. 13% of people in the U.S. have deafness or hearing impairment. 9% of U.S. adults 70 and older have dementia. Does knowing these statistics impact your approach?